Stuffed clams oreganata with harissa. These are the little necks, okay? So what we did is we, I soaked these, uh, my way I soak these in a bowl uh, with cornmeal in it, and I keep the water running, and I brush them, and I put it in there at least an hour, and I have the water run. They, they eat the cornmeal, and they disgorges any uh, stuff from inside, so you get them really clean. But you gotta make sure you, you trust someone to buy these. They gotta be fresh. They should be never open. When you buy them, you simply put them on a tray, put them in a 425 degree oven, closed, just until they open. It's easier than like, trying to do this shock them, yeah. to shock them, okay? Wrong. And then when they come out like that, you just open them like that. And that's a really great tip because that's one of the hardest things about yeah. doing a clam or an oyster dish is having to shuck them at home. But you're gonna cook them anyway, yeah. so just part and cook them. That's Can it. I so, grate this garlic Yeah, so, so I want you to grate garlic, uh, slice that parsley, I mean okay. chop that parsley. And this is basically a dump and stir. So we have the ingredients, we have scallions, cayenne, Oregano. That's a lot of oregano. Oregano. Bold. Oregano. Bold. Miso. Miso. Oh. You just I dropped that little that miso idea. like that. Olive oil. Harissa. This is so wow. you. Actually, salt and pepper. Strangely Let's enough. All that? Yeah, you need it. It really, you'll see. Okay, a good amount of pepper. And then I use the cheapest seasoned breadcrumbs I can find. Someone write down the date. Did you say you buy something <laughs> cheap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and you wanna just mix this up. And then I like to, I want it to, I wanna see it dry first. And then I add liquid to it slowly so I don't have to add, I don't mess up the ratio because it can't be too much breadcrumb unless you won't taste everything else. But a little chicken stock and a little white wine. We're looking for a Paste that's slightly wet because when it dries out in the oven, it's going to be, it still has to have some moisture to it. Yeah. It still needs, and it's going to go in a 475 degree oven. Wow. For about 10 minutes. So this is going to, I would say, a touch more breadcrumb. Wow. And can you see that's about, you mm -hmm. know, right? And there's no particular order. You can do this with your fingers, just a little, little dab will do you. Right on top, a good amount, because it's all about eating this, really. Forget the clam. I mean, you. Re but that's why a lot of people who use the larger clams chop up the clam and put it in the stuffing. You're you're just putting it literally on the fresh clams. Too much work to do what you just said. I know, and I love when you bite down on the filling and then the clam is like mm -hmm. underneath, like tucked in bed. I prefer this way. Me too. And you can put them in a little uh, a little cream broth on the, on the bottom of a bowl. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. first course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here I love the rustic quality of these as this well. This is just throw it in the oven, and I have a little mm -hmm. way to present that I think is fun. There's oh. an extra one. Okay, 475. All right. Nice, beautiful color. Beautiful. So uh -huh. elegant, too. I love when nature gives the vessel. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Here oh. we go. Here just we go. Just 10 or 12 more garnishes. Oh, my God. Wow. See that? Then I just like to dress up some salt. On our plate. Here we go. Well, you know, the old pink peppercorn, <laughs> black. Oh, wow. Black well, it is, too. you know. Bed of salt, I yes, assume? Yes, salt. It just keeps them warm. And you can warm this whole plate up in the oven and then put, the, put them, and it stays warm the entire time. I don't like eating these cold. These That's smell a no, 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 so no. Good. You can smell the garlic, the harissa, the scallions. Oh, does that look good? Gorgeous. I'm just, I'm waiting for like, the pecorino yeah, to drop something. from the ceiling, <laughs> something. I feel like we're not done. This feels new. Oh, let's get it. Oh, okay. There we go. All right, everybody relax. Because it asked for, it asked for a, a, a pinch of green, and a scallion is a beautiful remedy for a lot of dishes. But you know, when you have an Asian dish, it's always sliced scallions on top. Something about it, it's just perfect. All right, you ready? Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. So pretty. Okay, who's, who's gonna, can I just? <clears throat> This. Okay. Oh. I'm excited. Should I eat this with a fork and knife, Jeffrey? No. Pop it in. But I have one of these for you. Ooh. Oh, look at that. No, I can't. Jeff? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go in old school, I think. Mmm. You know what I love? At the very end, you get the breadcrumbs, you get the scallion. You get this hint of the clam, and then the harissa kicks in. Ooh. It's not too spicy. It's, it just makes me want to eat 100 of them.